Hey, Jonathan here at Topsaw. Today I'm going to go over two different pumps. This is a Honda one inch pump, uh, pumps about 30 gallons per minute. And then this is a Harbor Freight Predator um, two inch pump that pumps about 158 gallons per minute. So, in this video, I'm going to go over the difference between the two, why one would be more expensive than the other, where you would use one of them, where you might want to use the other one. This one's brand new and I've never used it before, so it's going to be first use of this new Predator 2 inch, 158 gallons per minute. So I just got this today, mail order from Harbor Freight. It's a Predator 2 inch water pump, gas powered water pump. It's uh, I think 212 cc's. And I'll go over some of its capacities in a little bit. Uh, it's unbelievably inexpensive, and I've actually been really impressed with Harbor Freight lately. They've really turned up their game quite a bit in quality tools. I bought a 9,000 watt generator from them, also for emergency um, use in case the power goes out. And uh, I started a few times, I ran the house on it. Uh, it works great. A couple key things on any of these gas small engines is you gotta drain the fuel out when you're done, or you could buy that really expensive canned. Um, zero ethanol gas from the saw store and run that and leave it in there. I've been really impressed with Harbor Freight lately, so I'm curious to see how this goes. I, I just got delivered today. Um, I ordered online. I bought this and the two inch discharge fire hose at the same time. And I'll kind of walk you through it, gas and oil it up, hook it up to a, a water source, and then we'll see how it pumps and see how it could actually draw out of a head. I have some property where I have a 5,000 gallon storage tank that comes down to a hydrant and it's almost the ground level. There's really no gravity feed on it at all. So I'm curious to see if this thing could suck up, create enough suction to draw water up and discharge it. So it came in a good box, very well packaged with no dings or dents in it, had a ton of cardboard wrapped around it. So this is the pump mechanism itself. So this is water inlet, a two inch NPT. Uh, it has to be a non-collapsible hose on that. This is a drain, water drain plug. And then this is a primer fill plug right here. And then this is a discharge outlet. So you cannot run this engine at all when this thing is dry. You gotta take this off, bring a few jugs of water up with you so you could fill it to prime it. And then when you're done, you drain it down here. So it's a pretty simple pump. Uh, direct drive shaft right there from the engine. Fuel tank, it says 10% ethanol is okay, but that ethanol always puts little hair, um, pinholes in fuel lines. That seems to always be the issue. Uh, oil dipstick, also a drain plug on the bottom for oil, which is nice. Kill switch around this side right here. Throttle. Uh, choke so that's the choke lever and then below the choke is fuel on off that's actually really nice if you're not going to drain it out the least you could do is turn the fuel off and let it run until it burns all of the fuel out of the carbon lines below that stop valve air filter muffler overhead um, overhead valves so that's kind of it pull start 212 cc's I need to go to the plumbing store. I think from discharge out I'm good. And then what I need to get at the plumbing store is to go from the strainer here to the hose attachment to the inlet. So I need to get that. And again, that has to be a non-collapsible hose. And then the other thing I want to do too is get an attachment for my hydrant so that I could go from that three to two to the inlet hose to the inlet. So I'll get those pieces before we fire it up. This is a cool chart that they have in the manual. It's a performance curve. Um, so it's an inverse relationship between water flow and gallons per minute and discharge head. So if you're trying to bring that hose 100 feet up above the pump, then you get zero gallons per minute. So if you're at say 80 feet, 80 vertical feet above the pump, you get 30 gallons per minute. Or if you're right at the height of the pump, so there's zero discharge head, 
then you could get 150 gallons per minute. There's another good diagram right here. So here's the pump, here's a discharge head, the vertical feet between the pump and where the water is exiting. And then here's the suction head, the height between the pump and the tank to give you the total head. The discharge head is always greater than the suction head. So you wanna put this pump as close to the water source as possible and pump it uphill, make this hose longer and this hose shorter if possible. Let me show you a couple of the tanks I have that are kind of cool that fit in the back of my truck. So this is a perfect tank here. This is a 150 gallon tank. Um, it just fits in the back of my truck with a camper shell in between my toolboxes. And you know, if I'm doing tree work or masticating or equipment far and away from any water source, I put this in my truck, I fill it up once it's in my truck with a pump or a hose. Then when I get to the site, I'll set up that pump on the tailgate stick the inlet hose in the top of this thing and be able to have water at whatever that is 150 gallons per minute so that's one tank it's it sits flat it actually fills in between my wells on my truck perfectly which is really nice so it doesn't slosh around or move around in the back of the truck um, but it is big i don't have too much room left in my truck after i also have this tank which is also nice I think this is a 65 gallon tank. So, a 65 gallon tank. Uh, I have a spigot on it right there. And this tank's nice because I put it across the back of my truck, so I still have a lot more room in my truck. So, this one's a good one to keep in the back of my truck. If it's going side to side, um, it won't move in the back of the truck. It's a lot quicker to fill. But it only gives me All 65 right, just gallons. Got back from the plumbing supply store, got tons of fitting, so I get this whole thing sorted out. This is my two inch PVC non collapsible suction hose. And then let's see, this would be one fitting here with this a hose clamp. This is actually goes, this bell housing, the only thing they had there. So this is from my hydrant, this is fire hose thread. This is one and a half inch fire hose thread, one and a half inch fire hose thread, and then this I think is pipe thread. So this is going to go at the end of the hydrant to the bell housing, and then this will go inside my suction hose. Oh, that was too easy. Right, so let's see over here. So on the All right, let's go ahead and compare these two. I think I got them both hooked up. This is a Harbor Freight Predator 2 inch pump, 212 cc's, I think 160 gallons per minute if you're not drawing any head. And then this is a Honda WX10 1 inch pump. Really small little pump, I think it puts out 38 gallons per minute on 25 cc's or so. So what I have set up here on the Predator is I bought that two inch non-collapsible suction line. It goes right there into the tank. I don't have the strainer on because it wouldn't fit through the hole. And I didn't prime that suction pipe. In the gas, gas can right here, because these things are gonna get run and then not run for so long, I actually use this um, store-bought four cycle fuel that has zero ethanol in it so it doesn't deteriorate the fuel line i still run the fuel out of it but this will be the last thing in there stuff's a fortune you know it's like seven dollars a can and four cans to the gallon so you're paying thirty dollars a gallon for the gas here but if you're going to store something for a long time it's probably worthwhile i mean I, you know the point of these pumps is fire suppression in an emergency so you definitely don't want a leaky so this is the Honda WX10, it pumps at 32 gallons per minute with a one inch hose. It does have a garden hose adapter to it. The beauty of this thing is it does only weigh 13 pounds. So I got it fired up here, uh, idling up and it's priming a little bit. And then there it is at full, full throttle. It's a four stroke 25cc engine 
and this is putting out 32 gallons per minute. 65 gallon tank, so I could run it at full speed for about two minutes before it drains the tank. Here I'm on the Predator 2 inch, 158 gallons per minute, uh, 212 cc's. And you could tell the problem with this is if it pumps 158 gallons per minute, 65 gallon tank, it'll suck that thing dry in 30 seconds or less. Um, so originally I thought this would be a great fire pump to go with my tanks and my truck, but now I think there's no way to minimize the amount of flow. Even at idle, it just sucks that tank dry in no time. So it does put out a tremendous amount of water. Uh, I am going to keep both pumps. I think if I have a tank in the back of my truck, I'm going to keep that little Honda pump in the back there. Uh, and then I'm going to hook this up to hydrants. So right there I have it going from that 2 inch hose to a 1 inch hose adapter. And you can see I just sucked the pump dry. Here's my son watching me idle it up. This thing will send him back a little bit. That's it right there. That thing puts out the water. It's incredible. 